of the People's Republic of China, which opened this Thursday in Guangzhou, the capital of South China's Guangdong province. And in today's life, we are about to witness the magic of building and construction and decorating technology. So the first stop is bricklaying. To be more specific, building homes and commercial projects to the highest standards of safety, accuracy and skill. Brick laying is a skill that can be said to be the building blocks of much of our world. The brick layer works on everything from our homes to commercial buildings and the walls that surrounded them. And today's competition started at 10 a.m. this morning. Usually it will last like four hours long. Brick laying is an occupation that requires an ability to follow building design plans precisely through measuring and constructed in strict coordinates with architect's plan and local government regulation. It is also equally important to execute those plans with high quality professional bricklaying skills. As we are entering the next stop, here, here are something you need to know about the very first competition. 
with the theme new era, new skills, new dreams. The competition is the largest ever in China and will be held every two years. This competition will run through this Sunday with 2,557 contestants from all over the country competing in 86 skill programs. We are um, about to arriving at the end. next stop. Here we can see something about decorating and painting and design. And in this part is the uh, wall and floor tiling. Laying tiles accurately and at a high level of finish in a variety of materials in residential, commercial and public projects. Tiles can be made of ceramics, mosaic and natural stones. Likewise, the environment in which they are used in equally devised walls, floors and staircases in houses, offices, garden, factories, public buildings and places of worship. That means that they may be expected to work both inside and out, accurately following design, preparing surfaces and laying tiles to the correct pattern and grouting to a high standard. We are now seeing the contestant and now doing the cutting job. And first they need to design the pattern and then cutting the ceramics and paint it on the wall. And in this section is the interior decoration design. It's kind of similar with the, the previous one, but this one is for the interior decoration. And the characters on the wall in Chinese means peace.
If you are just joining us, we are live from Guangzhou, bringing you the latest on the first vocational skill of competition of the People's Republic of China. Right now, we are seeing the uh, section of painting and decorating. It's really easy to get the idea of painting and decorating using paint, decorative coatings and wallpapers, and signs writing both indoors and outdoors in a wide variety of working environments. Well, the, the services of the painter and the decorators are needed everywhere from homes to public buildings, factories and offices. I think every one of us could be a like decorator or painter actually you can do your little painting in your home But in this section, we can see like every contestant have to finish like two parts. The first part is like the same requirements, like the 2020 with the uh, with the big logo and the architectures on on it. And the second one, maybe you can like do whatever you like to express yourself, your idea, your of creativities. As we can see, like painting and decorating is really a creative job that requires a sense of design as well as the core skills of painting and decorative coatings and guidelines. And in this section is something about structure and building technologies is plastering and drawwall system. Here, contestants need to plaster flat surfaces, installing drawwall system and creating decorative modelings on projects from private homes to historical houses. Plastered are typically employed as a subcontractor for work on domestic and commercial projects as well as heritage sites. They will know how to interpret plans 
using a range of materials and are able to work on projects that include curved surfaces, windows, doors, and decorating modelings. And here are the um, final work of the contestant. I think uh, this part of competition has ended. If you are just joining us, we are live from Guangzhou bringing you the latest on the first vocational skills competition of the People's Republic of China. What we are seeing is the uh, painting and decorating section. Contestants need to finish two parts of in this program. Now we will wrap up our live report. If you like us, please share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And keep following Xinhua for more news and updates. Thank you for watching and see you next time.